It is official, Apple has finally released the Mac OS Catalina and we're gonna show you how to update in this video. What's going on everybody and welcome to yet another tech tip video. Mac OS Catalina has been out for a few days now and there seems to be some back and forth on whether it's a good idea to update to the new OS or not. So in today's video we're going to cover a few different scenarios on what the issues are and if it's a good idea to update as well as actually show you how to perform the update. A few issues that are going on right now and the biggest one is of course the drop of 32-bit applications. So for those content creators that are using like a 32-bit installer of any type of the Adobe products or for those those that are using a 32-bit or 32-bit installed Microsoft Office, those applications will no longer work for you and you will need to either A, update those or purchase a new copy of them or purchase a more recent version for them to continue working. The next big issue is the iTunes to Apple music migration. In doing so, Apple had to remove the XML file support. So if you are a DJ and you did use the XML file type to do all of your mixes or your music, you will need to wait for an official solution from Apple before upgrading to Catalina. Upgrading to Catalina Catalina is completely contingent on your scenario. For me example, I have the most up-to-date Adobe products as well as Office products. So updating for me and having that 64-bit architecture was not an issue at all. I've been able to run it for the last couple of days without any hiccups in any type of content creation and so far has been running really smooth. So the first thing that you're going to want to do is go through and just make sure that your Mac is prepared for the update. And what I mean by that is of course you're going to want to have a most recent backup because nothing is worse than going in, performing an update, and then realizing it ends up crashing and you don't have a backup to fall back on. So you want to make sure that you have a nice solid backup to go off of in case things go south. And then of course you're going to want to go through and make sure that you don't have any 32-bit applications because Catalina no longer supports 32-bit architecture programs. So go through that. We did make a video covering some of these basics and you can check that up in the top right hand card. Now there are two ways that you can obtain this update. First you can go into the system preferences and search for any type of software update. However it may not have rolled out in all of the regions so it may not pop up in that system preferences. However, you can bypass this by going into the App Store, searching for Mac OS Catalina and downloading it from the App Store. We're gonna be using the App Store for today's demonstration, so head on over to your App Store and open it up. Locate the search box and type in either Mac OS or Catalina, and once you've found it in the list, go ahead and click on View. From here, the app page is going to open up and then you can click on Get. Next, this will open up the software update program and ask if you're sure that you want to upgrade to Catalina. If you want to proceed, go ahead and click on download. Now keep in mind, it is a large update, so depending on the internet connection that you have, it may take some time to download. While the update is downloading, now is a good time to make sure that your computer is plugged in with its power cord because it can take some time for the install process to finish. Once the download has finished, a new wizard or a new setup wizard is going to pop up. From here, you're gonna follow the on-screen steps, agree to the terms and conditions, and wait for the install process to finish. Keep in mind, the Mac may reboot several times during the install and upgrade process. When the setup process is complete and the Mac has rebooted for the final time, you're going to be prompted with a brief setup wizard. From here, it's going to ask if you want to submit any type of analytic data. Also going to ask you if you want to set up your screen time permissions. Again, you can set those up now or you can choose to set them up later. And that's it. You're now in Catalina. Again, keep in mind that some of your programs that are that 32-bit architecture may not work or they may require an update to continue working. And that wraps up this week's tech tip, bringing us into our question of the day. How do you feel about Mac OS Catalina? And what is your favorite feature? Connect with me in the comments below. If you like this video and found it useful, be sure to give it a thumbs up and share it on all of the social media platforms. Check out some of the videos that we have on this channel. We do a lot of tech focused stuff. Here are a couple examples for you. And of course, subscribe if you're not already and enable the bell notification so you guys don't miss out on any type of future content. And we will see you on the next one.